We are seeing cryptocurrencies continue their rally today that began yesterday. And a lot of crypto bulls still confident in the long-term prospects for cryptocurrencies as well. Among them, Kathy Wood, who predicted a million dollar price for Bitcoin by 2030. Let's bring in Jean-Marie Monietti. He is CoinShare CEO. It's Europe's largest digital asset manager. Jean-Marie, thank you for being here. Uh, so what are you hearing from clients right now as we've had this recent volatility in Bitcoin? I imagine people who have been in the space for a while are accustomed to this sort of bouncing around. But even so, even for them, um, the drop has been perhaps alarming. What have you been hearing? Um, well, first, thank you for having me. Um, you know, we've been in this space since 2013, 2012, and I can tell you that even if you're there since this time, it's still painful and it's still, you're not getting used to it. You tend to forget that this thing can happen. So it's always a good reminder. So our clients are, as we are, you know, getting accustomed to it and getting used to it. The real differentiation is like, is what, which wave of client is being impacted these days. And, you know, you get a lot of new entry in 2021 and these clients were the one which were not really used to be cycled, you know, but, the beauty of CoinShare products is like we have clients which are very uh, much with us for the long run. We have clients which are with us since 2015, 2016, and which are experienced this cycle. And you know they are almost the one educating the community to make them understand how the journey is going. I was surprised uh, this morning to see uh, Kathy Wood come out here uh, and call for Bitcoin reaching a million dollars by 2030. Does a call like that make sense to you, just given where we have seen crypto prices go the past few months? Well, crypto price over the last few months, uh, along with like growth stock, as bears the grunt of the of the market bleeding. You know, I think you know Nasdaq has probably erased all uh, 2021 gain. Bitcoin is, and crypto in general are down 50 percent uh, from the all-time high market uh, cap. So we definitely in this kind of weird. A uh, situation where people have been suffering a lot so far in, 20, in 2022, um, and we see some sign of recovering on the back of some Fed announcement on the back of FOMC minutes, which are not going to be as drastic as people were thinking last week. So the kind of uncertainty we are in where we know the Fed is going to announce something, but we don't really know what, you know, people were talking 50 basis points last week, it's going to more looks like 25 basis points. We don't really know until we have more certainty and more direction from Jay Powell about, you know, the gradual uh, proposition about tapering. You know, tapering is a big word nobody used for many, many years and probably some of us never heard. So it's a, it, it's a process. And I think the market is like trying to figure out how it's going to handle this process uh, in, in the months and years to come. So to come back to your earlier question about Cathy evaluation, is Cathy evaluation, I think she put a very... Our analysts put a very strong uh, penetration rate case behind it to say to show where it's going to penetrate and how it's going to penetrate the market. And you know, everybody uh, can go with his own call. I know Milton came on this show earlier last year to call on the grand. It's a very you know, numbers are very relative depending on what they are. So we're not going to comment further, I guess. So so let me ask you a more uh, modest question then. Can uh, cryptocurrencies, and, and let's just pick Bitcoin for the ease of, of talking about it, can Bitcoin rally this year in the face of Fed tightening? Uh, uh, the question is not so much about Fed tightening, is how much the Fed is going to be able to tighten. Uh, and that's going to be the, the, the message we are looking for from uh, everybody, you know, like Bitcoin uh, has been uh, sold out and cryptocurrencies in general uh, on the face of the uncertainty coming in and, and the rates going up. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how it reacts in a bit of a more medium term perspective, but I think Bitcoin still has some room uh, and it's going to be uh, almost testing the capacity of the Fed to, to tighten uh, the economy and uh, also, sorry, the interest rate and, and get back with a grip on the economy. Jean-Marie, we're going to have to leave it there, unfortunately. Thank you so much for being here. Jean-Marie Monietti, who is CoinShares CEO. Thank you.